Hey, fellow rowers. A few people had asked about um, how to use the Concept2 Erg app, and so I thought I would make a video so that everybody would be able to take a look at it and see how things work. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about how we might do this, and I will share my screen. Uh, welcome to my office. Welcome to my phone. So the first thing that you would want to do if you're going to use the app is to download it. So I believe it's called the Concept. Concept. Can I spell? Sure. Concept to rower. And it looks like that erg data. That's what it's called. And I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. And then there it is. So as far as using it, and let's me focus this here. So as far as using it, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually um, on the erg itself, on the PM5, you're going to want to go to the menu and hit the button that says connect. And then you'll hit this part right here. And then you'll look for the number that matches the one that's on your order. After that, you'll tap that one there and then you'll be good to go. As far as how to use this, um, the things I have kind of learned are the following. Um, yeah, I would say, first of all, the workout option. So this is probably the place where you're going to spend most time. You can also just on the machine hit just row like you normally would. And then this will kind of pull up the usual kind of data. Or you can program a single distance thing, like for example, a 2000 meter row. And then you can, if giving you a split of 400, that would be kind of weird. I would choose between a split of 500 because that's pretty typical, not 5,000. Um, you can have it show the pacer. You can do a target stroke rate, which is kind of nice if you're aiming for 20 or 22 or whatever. You can also have a target heart rate zone if you have a heart rate monitor. And then the other things I think are pretty explanatory. So let's go through them single time. Same sort of idea. You might set yourself a, be careful here. This is hours, minutes, seconds. So you might set, set yourself a 30 minute row, for example. Again, you can have a target stroke rate if you want, like say 20 first strokes per minute. Or I've never used the single calorie one. I've never tried to hit a certain calorie mark, but that would be interesting. I don't know how good the calorie calculation would be. The one that I think is a little bit more useful is like this kind of easier. I'm mean, using weird there here. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Sure. The one that's kind of easier than um, using the PM5 itself is for the intervals, specifically the variable, but also the constant's not bad. Um, but the constant intervals, distance, time, or again, calories, I might say, in fact, I believe there was an erg challenge from Lynn that I was looking to actually set up here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Um, the team challenges, number 12 one. That's a thousand meters, four times or three minute breaks between each thousand meters. Cool. So I'm going to set that up so that I can do that when I go do it on, going to do it on Friday. So I'm going to go back here to my constant intervals. Actually, I might not do it here because I don't think I get to select how many I want, but let's try it anyways. So I want to do a thousand meters. And I want my rest time to be, let's say three minutes, I think. Yeah, three minutes. Test. And then she wants it to be a moderate. Yeah. I can choose the splits per minute or the strikes per minute, maintain my splits. So let's say I'm going to make it, I'm going to go for a 24 and then 22. And then if I hit ready, well, I have to connect. So it's not going to show me that. Um, but what I could do instead, in fact, I'm going to do this in a different way because I want to actually set the number of intervals. I'm going to go back to the variable intervals. The distance is going to be 1,000. Rest time is going to be three minutes. And I will move the start right off because maybe it's something different. But let me save that and now watch this. Then I can do my next interval. Now, if my next interval was going to be different, I would go ahead and do that. But here, since they're all going to be the same, I'm going to hit this little thing right here and just copy it four times. And I might even change this last one, since I know it's going to be the end, and delete the rest time. So now I've got four intervals, 1,000 meters each, rest time three minutes in between each one, and I can save it. I can start it there, I can give it a name, 
I can call it erg number 12. Or just 12, I forgot what the number symbol was. And then it is safe to be used. So now if I wanted to find it later, if I go back to my workout page here and go over to my favorites, it's right there. And then I can go ahead and start it. So that's already ready to go for me when I want to do that specific workout. Um, other things you can see on here, so you can see other ones I've saved. This is the race, which the junior girls was, we did those different lengths and then I kind of repeated that in the, on the herb one day. Um, and then recent is just, there was nothing there really. And then there's the workout of the day, which is just something that is there daily, which is kind of, if you're trying, if you're looking for inspiration. And the other thing I kind of, noticed recently oh no that was in the blog so i think you know, that's pretty much all there is to see about the workout option i will say the other nice thing about the variable intervals here is that you can do many different things so like there was one day when i was trying when we were doing like three minutes and then one minute and then three minutes and one minute and so i was able to do a three minute interval and then zero rest and i saved that and then I wanted to do one minute at a lighter pace. So I did my next interval. It was going to be one minute, my lighter pace. I didn't set the pace, but I could have done a target stroke rate if I wanted to. And then I save that. No, sorry, that's wrong. I want one minute from there. I want zero rest. Sorry about that. And then I wanted to repeat that. So what I can just do is I can copy this a bunch of times. Let me go on and do each of them four times. And then I can move them around. So three, one, three, one. Oops, come on. Maybe not. Three, one. So then I have eight intervals. Three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one. And then again, if I wanted to, I'm not going to save this one, but I could star it and then give it a name and then it would be in my favorites later on. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's, I want to delete this. Sure. The other thing you might be interested in is the data you get to keep. So in the logbook over here, you can see in a second, all of the workouts you've done. Um, so recently I did, you know, a 10 minute piece. And there's, you can see all this kind of neat data it shows you the stroke rate. I don't love all this personally. Like I find this not super helpful, but if you close this here and you go to your splits table, it shows you your splits. So like for that first two minute section, I was, yeah. I feel like this, anyway, I don't mean, I feel like this one was not super interesting, but there you can see my splits over various times. Um, this one's a little bit more interesting because this is the one, actually, I think this is the three minute, one minute one. And if you close this, open this, you can see, so over that first three minutes, my pace was 156, and then over the one minute where I was going harder, 139, and then three, and then one, and you can see as the, as the 20 minute piece went on, I definitely, you know, started to slow down a little bit here. At the end, I was definitely not hitting my, you know, my my beginning pace of one fifty six. So, um, yeah. Other interesting things about this is you can also look at stats up here, which I hadn't seen until just today, and it'll show you your season stats, which are kind of cool. And if you scroll down a little bit and you click here, it'll give you your lifetime bests. I think it's kind of neat. Like it shows me the best 1,000 meters I've done and the best 5,000 meters I've done, the best 30 minutes I've done. Kind of cool. Um, I don't think this real-time setting is particularly useful to me yet, but it might be to you. You can like compete or row with other people rowing right this minute across the world. And then finally, in the settings over here, there are some things you might want to consider doing, like your workout settings. Um, I changed this to dark mode because I feel like it's easier to see but you can change that to not, and then it's going to be right, which I feel like is not my favorite. Definitely always not. I don't, I don't really know what the system setting actually means, but that's what it started off as. This is going to be kind of how your data is displayed. Again, I haven't really played around with this, to be perfectly honest. Um, it's showing that we have the medium one, which is, I think, the kind of typical one. I don't really know like what doing that actually does, so I haven't touched that very much. And then the row erg type, you can change it to a regular erg like we all use, or the erg with slides, or there's also the dynamic row erg, which is a different machine that I've looked at and it looks interesting, but not what I'm looking for. Um, and then you can change your units if you want to do the system. I think that's about it. Let me look at my list over here. 
No, I think that's, oh, 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 one more thing. There's one last thing. So if you want to share your data with Kathy, instead of sending her a screenshot, you can go to your logbook. You can go to, let's say I want to share this workout here. And so then I can first, to be able to share it, scroll down all the way to the bottom. Chain, usually, so it'll start off with, I think, I think that it's either set to training partners or private, but I don't know how to make Kathy a training partner. So I just change it to share, being able to share it with everyone. And then you can go back up to the top, hit the little send arrow there. And there's a lot of options here. You might just text it to Kathy. Oh, you can't really see that very well. Sorry, it's hard to kind of see what's going on here. But you hit copy. Then it copies it to your clipboard. And then you can go back over to like, say, the team linked app. Go to your, you can either send it in an email, chat. I can send it in the chat to Kathy. And so then I'm like, hey, Kathy, here's my data. I'm not going to send it to it because you just pasted it in there. And it says, I did. It gives you kind of the sum up there. I did this many meters and this many minutes, and then she can click on the link to actually see the detailed data if she was interested in seeing it. All right, that's all I've got. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you all in the morning. Bye.